Hello everyone, back again with Story Recap. Before we get to storyline, I wish all happy and great day. The film opens with a girl named Jo, who is obsessed with relationships with men. She tells the story of the details of her life to a strange man. She loves making love with men to the point of madness, as she used to sleep with 10 men in one day. Despite that, she wanted more and more because her desire was equivalent to the desire of 100 women. We see a man named Seligman as he is walking home. He encounters a middle-aged woman named Jo. She was in severe pain. He quickly woke her up and told her that he would call the ambulance. But she asked him not to do that, and that if he did, she would leave before they arrived. She told him she just wanted a cup of tea. So he took her with him to his house and started preparing tea for her. He allowed her to shower and gave her new clothes. Then he asked her about what happened to her and if she had been beaten, but she told him that it was her fault and that she was a bad person. She was a little hesitant to tell him the truth. Then she started telling him her story. She revealed to him her desire to sleep with men since her childhood. When she was seven years old, she and her friend, whom she refers to as B, were throwing water on the ground and sliding for fun. Then her mother suddenly knocked on the bathroom door. She also told him that she loved her father, who worked as a doctor. She also loved climbing rope in gym class because she loved the feeling between her legs. Then he told her that he didn't think the children were wrong. According to Joe, she does not emphasize that all children are sinners, while he does not want to see sin in her story. Then she revealed to him that when she was a teenager, she had to lose her virginity. She knew a guy named Jerome when she was 15 years old. She found him an attractive person, so she went to him and asked him to make love to her. Indeed, they made love. Years later, she and her friend dress sexy and ride the train without buying tickets. They were betting on who among them would have the most love with men, and the winning person would get candy. The two girls continued to wander between the train cars. She entered a trailer where there was a family. Then she started asking the man questions. On the other hand, B managed to get the first and second men. Joe was finally able to make love with someone. Then they kept doing it and finding men to make love with. Then they went to the first class cabin where they were asked for tickets. She told him that the tickets were in her bag and that she couldn't find her bag, but he claims that she did not buy a ticket. He gave her a ticket worth $8, but B tore up the ticket. Unexpectedly, a man paid for their tickets. B tried to approach him, but he refused. They wanted to return the favor to this man who was kind to them in their own way. The man told them that he was in a hurry because he and his wife had been trying to have a child for a long time and that his wife was ovulating and now he was trying to rush home to have sex with her. Joe understood why he refrained from making love to her, but despite that, she approached him and tried to seduce him. Indeed, she managed to do that. Joe had no regrets about doing these things. She claimed that because of her, a man might inexplicably be able to have children. Seligman then leaves the room and returns to find Joe asleep. Then she woke up. She noticed a watercress cake on the plate. She was surprised with a fork. She revealed to him that she knew someone who ate watercress cake with a fork. Then she starts talking about a person named Jerome. She was sleeping with many men, and she told every one of them that he was the only one who was good at it. Then she went to a nightclub where the girls promised not to sleep with the man more than once so that feelings would not develop between them. Joe got the title of the vacuum cleaner because she is known for her high sexual ability. At the girls' meeting, she admitted that she had slept with a man more than once. Her friend scolded her for that. It is revealed that the company's president is Jerome, who took her virginity. She told him that she went to meet the secretary to work in the company, so he decided to hire her despite her lack of experience. After that, he tried to enter into a relationship with her, but she refused and began sleeping with other employees. She was alone in the office and started thinking about Jerome, she started to feel longing for him and fall in love with him. She started to stop making love with others. Then she knew his address and went to him, but she never rang the doorbell. One day she wrote a letter expressing her feelings, but it took a month to gather the strength to submit the letter to him. When she went to him, she found Jerome's uncle, who told her that he had traveled with his new wife. He also fired her from work because she had no work experience. After that, she went back to looking for men, and within a few years, she had a large number of lovers. She had difficulty remembering whose voicemail she was listening to, and noting individual relationships. One day, her lover, whom she refers to as H, he refused to leave the apartment while she waited for her next lover to arrive. She asked him to leave because she knew he could never leave his family for her. Then, she prepared for the arrival of her next lover. Then there was a knock on the door. 
and the surprise was that H was the one who came. He left his wife and children and returned with his bag. His wife was at the door and told her that she wanted to make sure he arrived safely after he made the important decision. Inside, the woman leads the children into the room and tells them that this is the place where their father used to work. After a while, the other lover arrives. The woman takes the flowers he is carrying and introduces this man to all her children. Then she asked Joe how many people she could destroy in one day. Joe told her that this was a big misunderstanding. She told the children that she did not love their father, but their mother tells them that she is saying that to make them feel better because if this was a joke, it would be a terrible joke. Then she asked the children to leave before things got too terrible. One of the children returned to hug his father, but his mother pulled him away because she did not want to give his father a guilt complex. Then she shouts at him angrily. Seligman asked her if this experience affected her life. She didn't have anything to add because one cannot build a nest without breaking some eggs. Then she revealed to him that she was not addicted to lust and had no utmost need for it. We go back to the past where she was visiting her father in the hospital. Her mother did not come to him. He woke up and defended his wife by saying that she did not come because she was afraid of hospitals. But Joe called her stupid. That night, her father woke up screaming and crying. She tried to calm him down, but he was not responding. After a short time, the doctor arrives to control the situation. After that, Joe wandered into the hospital and made love with the janitor. The next day, her father died. She claimed that after her father died, she didn't have a big fuss and she felt angry and ashamed of her mother, but she quickly left the room and left Joe alone. Joe continues by explaining the insult she felt from her mother because she came to witness her father's death, which made her feel upset. Upon hearing that story, Seligman knew that Joe wanted to portray herself a certain way. Her father had a dark attitude towards her that she was worse than everyone else. The crisis is very frequent. And it seems that Joe loved him, but did not express her feelings to him. Joe started discussing her three lovers. Once again, we see one of her lovers who was carrying flowers and waiting for her in the car for an hour because she was with someone making love. Then she let him in and offered him coffee. She was able to manage time between the men who came to her while also working a full-time job and still feeling lonely. Then we watch her as she walks, discovering fragments of photos scattered on the ground. She started taking pictures and discovered that these pictures were of her and Jerome. Suddenly he came to her. She was very happy. It turned out that he had come to this place after getting into a quarrel with his wife and thus tore up his pictures with her. After that tour, they were reunited and there was a warm relationship between them. However, she suddenly left her lover's life. Seligman tells her what's going wrong between them. She told him that she was unable to feel anything but tears in the end. Thus, Joe's story remained wide open until we continue the strange story in the second part.